Urodynamic testing is a common test used to assess the bladder function. It is done for women who have any kind of leakage, have urgency or frequency of urination. It may also be done if you have difficulty starting your stream or feel that you don't empty your bladder well. The key things to remember are that it is not a painful test. Uh, you can drive yourself back after the test. It takes about 30 minutes and we usually put two special catheters with sensors on them to assess your bladder function. You may be asked by your doctor to come in with a full bladder and you may need to bring a bladder diary that again tells us about your bladder function. Uh, once you come in, the first step is you're gonna empty your bladder in a special chair and they measure the amount you emptied over what period of time. So that's a very simple test called Euroflow. After that, the nurse will empty your bladder with a very small catheter to measure how much is remaining behind and that is called a post void residual. After this part, the little catheters with sensors on them are inserted. There's a catheter that goes in your bladder and the second catheter goes either in your vagina or your rectum. Then slowly water or saline is filled in your bladder and you are asked to tell us if you're feeling full, having a normal desire, or are getting extremely full to reach the capacity. And at certain points, you may be asked to cough or push, and we look for leakage and the amount of leakage. This part of the test is called systometrics, and once you reach full capacity, you're asked to empty your bladder with the catheters in, and this is called a pressure study, and that tells us if you're using the bladder muscles to empty your bladder. Um, you may notice two EMG patches near your buttocks that tell us about the function of the study. And you may also get the urethral pressure study in which the catheter is pulled through your urethra to study the function of your urethra. Once the test is done, uh, you may have slight burning or discomfort with urination that usually gets better on its own, but you may take over-the-counter medications. Uh, urinary tract infections are pretty uncommon after this test, but if you have any symptoms, you should call your doctor's office. So the key take home messages are that it's a very important test that tells us a lot about the function of your bladder and your urethra. It's not a painful test, lasts for a few minutes, and has very, very minimal pain or side effects. Thank you.